guys, I hope you're having a great day. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back. My name is Tina. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my chicken wire shelf that I built. It was something that I had seen online, and it was something that I wanted, but I felt like it was kind of pricey. And in thinking about it, I decided to try building one myself. I wasn't really sure how it was gonna turn out, so I didn't record the process, but I absolutely love how it turned out. I did take some photos, however, so I will share those in the video and try to explain a little bit on how I made it, but I will link the one that I had seen online down in the description below if you'd like to check that out. Now, the dimensions are definitely different than mine. I changed mine up to fit my space better and more of what I wanted, but I'm so happy with how it turned out. So it's already pretty much done. I've already painted it, sanded it, sealed it, and all of that. But I do need to add my door pole that came today and my magnetic latch. And then it will be good to go and I will put it in place and we will get it decorated. So let me show you the shelf and then let's get it finished up and decorated. So this is where my chicken wire shelf started. I was looking around seeing what wood that we had on hand and came across this old headboard that we had made for our daughter's room. She had since got a new bedroom set. It's just been hanging out in the garage and I thought it would be perfect. It's already stained gray but I knew I was going to sand a lot of that off and I'm going to paint it. So if some of the gray shows through, I was fine with that. So I took the headboard apart, started cutting my pieces down to the size that I wanted for my shelf, and then I started putting it together. And I just used wood glue as well as my brad nailer. And obviously this is not a tutorial with a lot of detail like I mentioned. I did not record this because I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out, but it's definitely one I wish I would have, but I will add the dimensions that I used for my shelf down in the description below if you'd like to check that out. But after I had my box complete as well as the door, I took those inside, painted them white, took them back outside to sand them down. I wanted some of that natural wood to show through as well as a little bit of the gray in different areas. And then I added my hinges as well as my chicken wire and I just used my staple gun for that. And here's a look at my shelf. So it's different from the one I'm going to link. The one that I'm going to link was actually from Hobby Lobby. And if you can get it at half price, that's not bad. It does have really good reviews, but I just really wanted to see if I could do it or not. And I was hoping I could change it up a little bit to fit my space just a little bit better. Mine's actually 26 inches long, and then it's not quite as deep as well. I'd have to look for sure and to check that before I tell you what I did, but I know it's 26 inches long. And then the door on the Hobby Lobby one comes outward and has sections. And mine is just one large open area and no sections and I have it where the door goes up. And it'll just sit there so that I can decorate. And I just love how it turned out. So here is the handle that I purchased. I bought this from Home Depot. It came today so I'm gonna get that attached. And then I also have a magnetic latch that I'm gonna add. So let's get that done. So for my magnetic latch, I am going to put it on this side right here so that it's hidden. So 
my chicken wire shelf is officially done and ready to go. I added my handle, I added the magnetic latch. You can hear it click, it's working really well. So I'm ready to wipe it all down, put it in place, and decorate with it. And I think it's gonna be a lot of fun to have to decorate with. I've thought of several different places I could use this around my home, but I think for right now, I'm going to use it here on my counter. So that'll probably change at some point, but for right now, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun right here. And for cost, in case you're curious, I actually only have $6 in this cabinet. I used wood we already had on hand. The only things that I've actually purchased were the door pull, and the magnetic light. So let's get this shelf wiped down, put it in place, and let's get it decorated. I just started decorating my new shelf with mostly items I already had with a few new ones mixed in as well. The chicken cutout was from Dollar Tree earlier this year. The kitchen towel with the chicken on it that says farm fresh eggs. I think that is so cute. I bought that recently at a local boutique consignment store and I think it's a lot of fun in this space. And then there are a couple of glass pumpkins that are new to me as well and I think this shelf is just going to be so much fun to decorate with. The concrete pumpkin I purchased at Hobby Lobby last year. That's just a pick from Walmart. The glass candy jar came from Hobby Lobby this year. I need to pick up some candy for that. And then some cutting boards. And I just draped a new kitchen towel that I got over the smaller cutting board. And I think that's really pretty as well. And then this little pumpkin here was from Target Dollar Spot. And then inside I have a little loaf pan or casserole dish that's from Dollar Tree. I picked that up this year as well as the thankful and blessed sign. The pumpkin container also came from Dollar Tree. The pumpkin picks were from Hobby Lobby and then the glass pumpkin jar was from Dollar Tree as well. So I know I've mentioned this before probably way too many times, but I'm just so happy with how this shelf turned out and I'm having so much fun decorating with it and I'm sure I'm going to play around with the decor, change it up, and there's definitely going to be more content including this shelf in the future. So I think that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like always, give it a thumbs up to let me know. I'd really appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful blessed day and thanks for watching.